Hey guys, welcome back. And today, I'm going to be doing another fun deck. This one is a Battle Cry Dragon Warrior. So this is a little idea I cooked up, which is like a twist on the Dragon Warrior deck that's out there. So I'm just going to go through the deck list right now, and I'll put a time skip in the description if you want to skip straight to the game. So, execute, solid removal, shield slam, solid removal, and... Uh, I have quite a lot of armor in this. Alex Strauss's champion goes with the battle cry and the dragon sort of aspect. Armorsmith, I only decided to put one of these in because it doesn't really work well with the deck, but it's still there just to get armor for the shield slam. Shield block is basically good for deck cycle to try and get around to the other dragons because there wasn't that many viable dragons to play in this deck. So, and it also gives like armor for shield slam. Blackwing Technician, Battlecry and Dragon. Bran is one of the best fun factors of this deck. Obviously allowing your battle cries to trigger twice. And uh, one of the reasons I actually made this a fun deck, uh, changing the aspect of the dragon was really fun. Mind Control, this is uh, because against like a board quite filled with a lot of creatures I found I was having quite a lot of trouble because I only had single like removals so I thought mind control would be really good and it's obviously battle cry as well Gazam Mystic works really well against the current meta and obviously battle cry dragon battle cry twilight drake twilight guardian dragon battle cry brawl as I said with mind control tech pretty much the same having a board of a lot of creatures was hard for me to deal with antique killbot this is mainly for fatigue because obviously you're going to be getting a lot of armor so you won't really need to heal 8 health but it's helped me a lot in fatigue games so I decided to keep it in. Azure Drake, Battle Cry and Dragon and the spell damage sort of helps with Shield Slam but is not really that useful that much. Blackwing, uh, Dragon Synergy, Battle Cry, Bomb Lover. Now this is a pretty cool card. The Battle Cry, deal 4 damage, has helped me really well against hand locks. Obviously, you've got it deals 8 damage if you play it with Brand, so that's happened before. And it's also I've also played it against a board with two creatures with 4 health with Bran. So you play Bran, then Bomb Lobber, and it just destroys everything. Shield Maiden, obviously, really good Battle Cry, and it gains the armor. Great Bran value there. Chilmore is one of the only taunts of the deck and is also a dragon and board clear, kind of. Uh, which also is like the brawl and the mind control on the way. Dr. Boom is just a really overpowered card and the only reason I decided to keep it in is because Battle Cry and Bran, if this Battle Cry goes off it can be like really overpowered. And Alex Straza, the Battle Cry doesn't really affect, get affected by Bran because it just sets it to 15 twice but it's still a dragon and a good card in case you want to rush down in the late game. So, that's enough talking about the deck. Let's get to the games. Garrosh versus Garrosh. Another Garrosh. <laughs> Bring it on! I've actually had quite a lot of good stuff with this deck against warriors before. No dragon though. No turn two play either, that's pretty bad. Looks like I'm going to be stalling the game out until I can get a dragon. I'll hurry up. Portals online. Oh, no. Done. There you go, that's a cycling action right there. Please no shredder. Defensive systems online. What now? That's actually a thing. Okay, Mech Warrior. I've never really seen this before. Hello, hello, hello. 
Things are going pretty badly right now. I wield the power black. So at least I have another dragon for this to trigger off of. Wow. It seems a bit like a homemade deck to me. Pretty good so far, though, I'd say. Although the general idea of a mech deck, I would say, is to hold the board early on. I mean, he had an amazing start. The mech warper and then it just grew junk. And I had nothing against it. Worth it, huh? My work is paramount for the dragon queen. Guess that's one bad side of having that card is when you go up against a class. What rampage? This guy has some very strange cards. Now I have control of the board. I like Straza next turn is gonna be a huge help. Hello, hello, hello. Probably not so much anymore. Oh, there we go. It's helpful. Dragon. What did this get rid of? Fiery piloted mech. Hungry spider fiery. So some pretty good cards. What is your plan? I think I'm going to have to trade everything into that. How many cards? 11. I could do Alex Strauss and then just go face, but I think it's too deadly. I wield the power of Black Death Spite. <laughs> I'm actually going to do that because then it forces him to either go face or trade. And with everything. Pretty much almost everything he trades with is going to be a bad trade. Heroic Strike. Is he just going to go completely face? No. Okay. 
he's pretty much lost this if I do this, because that's his whole deck. What does he have left? Probably one Arcanite. He got well played. I guess that was a bit of an okay deck, but having that 8 8, I forgot what it's called now, that just destroys your cards is terrible in constructed. It really is, because the amount of removal that people have is just too much. Alright, let's go again. See if we can get Bran this time. Garrosh versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Mm. Victory or death. I think I should probably keep mind control against a Paladin. Although I do think a Paladin is this deck's weakness. Ooh, Bran. Ooh, Kazan as well, in case it's secret. Bran Kazan. Who's for an adventure? Okay, I didn't expect that. You're going, you're smoking me. Paladin smoke. I was hoping for a dragon. Alex Jarzas would have been amazing there if I had a dragon. Steady shot on a paladin. I'm not sure why he picked steady shot against a warrior. I'm just hoping I get a dragon here. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to attack because that is probably a sacrifice thingy. I don't think I'm going to do anything here, because I'm going to wait for Kazan. Hope he plays another secret, and then... Because that is definitely no noble sacrifice if he made that play. Let's just say I hope it's Noble Sacrifice if I'm stealing the light it. Does not Sacred Trial. Oh, Never mind then. That's a really weird card to play. Really? Why wasn't that the other way around? It's a bit strange. For the light binder. Face or for the dragon queen. Ah! You might feel a little tingle. Really? I don't think there's any point of executing that. Sacred Trial really negates my mind control. Divine Favor, wow. I need six cards. I would guess he's hoping we don't go into fatigue. This isn't a different form of secret power then, is it? So I hope not. My please tell me this isn't. Repentance. And I think I'm going to execute that. He gets too much value against this. It's the only reason, and then. Okay. I think I play Chilmore here. 
Please attack face. Let me think. Or attack that. You can get a dragon, okay, that's not the best. Okay. Now I'm just gonna make him think. Hopefully I scare him into not attacking it. Because if he does, then I'm pretty screwed. is building, what will he do? I mean, even if he does attack that, I've still got the 4-6 to kill it, but I'd rather have that mm. on the board. And he can't play two creatures, because the second one gets destroyed as well, so he has to remember that. Who am I? None of your business. Oh, of course. I must move quickly. Not attacking, okay. That is six secrets. No, five. <laughs> I, just, I just don't even know why I said six. I think Brawl is definitely the play here. I wonder. Sure. If one of theirs survives, I'm pretty screwed. I should probably Blackwing first then. My work is paramount. Oh no. Secret ballad on fire. Hmm. Oh, the BM. All right, then we'll go with one last game. I think we got burned in that one. I can't exactly remember, but yeah, it didn't exactly go very well. So let's try again. Garrosh versus Jaina. Me. You asked for I've actually had Victory quite good death. games against mages. I might keep one Asher Drake just to guarantee the battle cry. Hello. Now that's a hand. I think that deserves coining out. The light binder for the dragon queen. What card back is that? I actually don't know. Okay, well I'm happy they did it against that rather than like blank me. I actually really like these new maps. Ooh. That's a tricky one, actually. I think I've got to go Bran here. Even though the mage is most likely going to remove it, but I think I have to risk it. I think I definitely have to risk it with the plays that can happen here. Ooh. Do I go with removal for survival, or do I go with this? I didn't even realize I had this coming. In hand, that was. Uh, 
Oh, you're just gonna remove him. Okay, that's understandable. Ooh. I wield the power black. That was a draw. I'll leave that alive just in case he has cards that need to be played and then he'll have to make the trade. Doesn't bother me. Although I would like to play Shield Maiden. I don't think it matters. Please no flame strike. Although, thinking about it, it wouldn't actually be that powerful. It's fine by me. I could have pinged the black wing and then there's just a few other cards. So Twilight then Black Wing. Make sure not to get my ordering mixed up. Well, it's a bit strange. Luckily, I have the perfect removal for that. I think I might keep that just in case I get any dragon cards. Or dragon requiring cards, I should probably say. Seeing a lot of innovative decks, which is good. Although that secret paladin, I guess, kind of is against the whole point of it, innovative. Use your flame strike now. Do it. Okay, I can tell that's what they're pondering. Where's your gem? Thank you. What to do? What to do? I still don't know how to do this. It feels like there should be some sort of matching thing. Oh, runs out on me. Kazan here is great, actually. Although I did sort of realize that they had flame strike, so it might not be the best. But I'm gonna do this because this play makes more sense. Because then I get the extra health, the and then I can do this. My magic well, I've got your magic. <laughs> My thanks. Same strike. Oh, what the hell? Now I have the dragon triggers. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. I can take the hit. Light it up. Flame strike only wipes out two of those, and then the ping on I guess that, so I still have seven damage. So that Kazan was a good play. Get more Twilight Drakes. Because the Dragon Triggers are actually somewhat difficult to come by. I mean, it's probably half my deck. I haven't actually counted. But fishing for Flame Strike, are we? Fishing for Borkler Minion, are we? 
I don't even think a minion that can clear all this exists. Apart from Doomsayer, but it might be too late by then. I guess the only thing to save you now will be Frost Nova. Frost Nova Doomsayer. There you go. Pull that. So, two damage off if I counted that right. I think that's game. I always go for the ball control rather than the face because you never know. People are more likely to come back if they have something on the board than if they have less health. I wonder. Because then you've also got a fear about health gaining things, and then they have things on the board, so your attacks to the face were pointless. I wonder. I was thinking about um, my How to Play series, so if anybody's watching this and they've seen my How to Play series, then. I was actually thinking about the whole idea with actually if I should do a how to play series on my Time out on me. Is that ice block? If I should do a how to play series on some of my fun decks. It could be quite a fun idea. Okay, so that could be effigy. You think you're going to survive? Race for impact. It could also be the ice block as well. Or not. Well played. Alright, so those were some fun games. I mean, you've still got those secret paladins, but most of the decks, I'd say, were quite innovative, which is making me uh, quite happy, because s instead of seeing, like, net decks all the time, you get some quite nice different ones. So, thanks for watching. The deck list is in the description, or the link to the deck list will be in the description, as always. Or you could just go back to the start of the video. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks in advance. I'll speak to you all next time.